Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Refreshing Moments with Dr. Yudi Obi. In this podcast, I would like to take a moment with you all to reflect, reset and relax. Wherever you are in the world, take a moment with me to relax as we think about the year we have had and the fresh start of the new year. As we all move away from the hustle and bustle of the Christmas season, I have always found that the week between Christmas and the beginning of the new year is a wonderful time for quiet reflection within ourselves. With Christmas cooking, gift giving and hosting friends and family coming to an end, there is finally space and time for turning that energy inwards and looking back at the year that has just ended and looking forward with hope to what is to come in the new year. For many people, it is very tempting to look back at the year like we are checking off a shopping list, making sure we have achieved all we set out to achieve, saved enough money, being on vacation and being as productive as possible. This can create a feeling of disappointment in ourselves and pressure to create unrealistic New Year resolutions, which leads to more stress, anxiety, and a lack of connection from the true spirit of the festive season. Whatever you have done last year, you can't change it now. And even if you haven't met all your goals, you have made it to the New Year. That is enough. You are enough, no matter what. How often do we see others create New Year resolutions from a place of self-doubt, low self-esteem and insecurity? In other words, so many resolutions come from the belief that we are not enough. I'll give you an example. I know that every year I hear friends and family all talking about maybe that extra 10 kg they want to lose in january or the diet they need to go on or the large sum of money they need to start saving for a vacation a new business or repairs around the home these resolutions don't bring us any joy in fact they make us look at ourselves like we are less than we should be or that we don't measure up to our own expectations of ourselves. In the eyes of God, we are always enough, even with that extra weight we have gained or a smaller savings account than we would like. This year, let us all try to create resolutions that don't put too much pressure on ourselves to make large changes in such a short period of time. In January, we are all resting and recovering from the Christmas season. Although Christmas is a time of joy and connection, it can also involve a lot of financial strain, traveling out of town to see loved ones, and a busy household full of additional guests. You have the whole year to make the changes you would like to make for your own resolutions not just the beginning of January. If you would like to lose some weight or save some more money, that is a wonderful goal to make in the long term. But it's not the end of the world if you haven't achieved it by the end of January or February. Many people will feel discouraged if they haven't reached their goals early in the year, leading them to give up completely. But those are just two months out of the whole year. We have all the time in the world. Recently, I have been making an effort to look back on the year with positivity and gratitude for the gifts that God has given me. There is always something to be grateful for, even if we need to dig beneath the surface. Time with family acts of kindness to others, 
and times that others have been kind in return. These are the non-material things that are often absent from our New Year resolutions. But they are the things that will matter the most to us in the future when we look back on how our lives have unfolded. I have been encouraging myself and my loved ones to create some non-material resolutions that will bring their sense of deeper meaning and inner peace into our lives. Alongside the typical resolutions, why not resolve to spend more time with loved ones, dedicate more time to worship and praise of God, or doing more acts of charity in your local community or church. Why it may not be very easy to measure whether or not we have achieved these goals, simply giving ourselves the time and space to do these meaningful activities in our day-to-day -day life will make a world of difference to our outlook, our relationship with our faith, and even our relationship with ourselves. When I know that I have made these non-material resolutions, it gives me a sense of hope and excitement as I look away from the year that is past and towards the new year that has just begun. Instead of feeling stress and dread about beginning to walk towards my goals, I feel like a little kid on a Christmas morning about to open my presents. Who doesn't want to spend the new year living more in line with our deeper values, creating a better world, and feeling good while doing it? I can feel completely confident making these resolutions because I know that God has my back all the way. I can trust in His mercy when I make mistakes and that He will guide me to the path that is right for me. My newest song, Deliver, was written about this exact feeling of looking forward to the future with hope, knowing that I do not need to fear. I wanted to share that feeling with others and create a song that will inspire that feeling of comfort and trust in God. With the love of God surrounding me, I always feel confident that life will deliver me on the path that I'm meant to take. Sure, it might not always feel like everything is going to plan, but every bump in the road and unexpected detour will bring me to where I am meant to be. Isn't it wonderful to rest and feel secure in that knowledge? It brings me the greatest sense of peace and allows me to reach my goals without limiting myself because of fear or doubt. After all, my worrying, stressing and overthinking don't actually serve me or anyone else. All that worry does is make me grumpy, short-sighted and pessimistic. So this year, I choose to leave my worry behind and replace it with faith in the grace of God. I hope that my new song and my thoughts that I have shared on, the, on this podcast can inspire you to look to the new year in a different way. Perhaps create new year resolutions that are meaningful and achievable instead of focusing on things to buy and large achievements to tick off. Besides, why wait for the new year to create a resolution? The best time to make a change is right now after all. Think of the goals you have for the future. Kindness, generosity, faith, and make decisions today that will align with those goals. That way, you can continue on a journey of growth throughout your life and not just in January of every year. If you think of a resolution in June or September, you can make those changes that same day. We are not limited by the days on the calendar. We are limited by ourselves. Have a wonderful, restful new year and I pray that 2023 will be a year of love, growth 
and faith for all of us. That's all for today's episode. But tune in to the next episode for more refreshing moments, inner thoughts, and reflections. Thank you, and God bless.